Albie, take one. Albie. Albie. He'd kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what is important about Edward's uh, work, it's that he reaches down deep into the unconscious life of human beings to find the thing that disturbs, animates, moves, and finally defines us. The first uh, Albee play I ever did was uh, in summer stock right after I graduated college and I played Agnes in A Delicate Balance, which was about a third of the age, I think I was 22, that Agnes should have been. My earliest memory of Edward absolutely becoming fascinated with that play, A Delicate Balance, and the language, the language particularly, and just unapologetically lift, lifting it and um, using it when I was flirting with boys at mixers. <laughs> I probably appeared rather silly, but it was his language that first hooked me. The next time I did a play by Albee, it was Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf with Patrick Stewart at the Guthrie Theater. I don't think I've ever experienced terror like that before in my life, but I went through with it somehow. Uh, I, I got on stage and finished the play, and I was down in my dressing room, and there was a knock at the door, and I opened it, and there he was. Edward Albee, and he just stepped in and he put his arms around me. My mouth was sort of in his neck, <laughs> or touching his neck, so I kissed his neck. And I thought a minute I did it, I thought, oh God, that was so inappropriate. Um, <laughs> but he was very, very sweet about it. And he said, remember, she really loved her father deeply. That's the only note he gave me. And later, at, I guess the Players Club, honoring him, I told the story. He got up to accept an award and he said, I just want to tell anybody who heard that story that if you ever have an impulse to kiss my neck, please, by all means, go ahead. I later, of course, did The Goat, or Who is Sylvia, on Broadway. I've never been in a play that was as controversial. It disturbed people so much that Bill started to get death threats, and then I started to get included, so we both had to have a policeman walk us out every night to our cars after the show. And I said, do you realize, Edward, he was there visiting, uh, that every night Bill and I risk our lives in the service of your play? And he, without missing a beat, he said, do you realize, Mercedes, that every night I risk my play in the service of you actors? That put me in my place as only Edward could and would whenever he could. <laughs>